Okay guys, uh, again we're going to try another experiment here. And uh, hang on a minute, let me just get my glasses down. I'm going to wash my hair. I wanted my hair to catch fire here. This thing is very intense, thousands of degrees. So let me try to get something on here. Hold this back maybe a little bit here. But anyway, rather than that glass pot, what we have this time, we've got, <laughs> I've got a black pot. We all know black absorbs heat. Nice cast iron pot. I've got 500 mils of water, tap water, about 68 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to put that in here. And again, we're going to try to get this thing somewhere near where we think the focal point is here. And we should be good. Again, I have this thing set up so I can adjust where that pot is in relation to the surface of the mirror with this wing nut here that holds it out. And I also got a way off the back of the mirror that I'll show you in a minute to adjust the uh, height of this pot so I get this thing tipped right into the focal point. Let's get my hair caught in there. So right now, wow, this side is tremendously hot here. It seems like I may want to roll my mirror a bit. The sun swings here. See here. Go to the back here of the mirror. See if we're going to adjust this a bit here. Again, what this is doing, I'm lowering this thing. I'm lowering this pot down. Try to get more of this light actually hitting the point. Me... Who's laughing out there? <laughs> As you notice, uh, you know, your, your standard uh, common by, bystander will actually laugh at this type of experiment. You don't take this qu uh, stuff quite as serious as, as, as we do here. So we'll just ignore them. Back to our experiment here. You feel, wow, you can't get your hands here. You cannot get your hands in front of this pot here. Let's see if I can get you guys some readings. Surface of this pot, according to this, surface of this pot is about 148 degrees. These other parts, like this part back over here is about 250 degrees, 265 degrees. Again, this is the piece that pot that has the water in it, so it's only up to about 155 degrees Fahrenheit. These other pieces here, though, are 264, 253. You see there. So all these parts are sitting at about 255 degrees, 265 degrees. Again, we got a whole ball of heat here. We're trying to get that pot in, immersed in that. And we'll see what happens. Actually, actually, this one here is already up to temperature. Let me see if I can find my other probe. I'll be back quick in a second. Okay. What's what's our running time roughly? Two thirty. Two thirty. So it's been about two and a half minutes now. Let me see if I can give you guys a reading. Right now, after about two and a half minutes, this water is at. Oh, I can't even put my hand in here. I'm going to watch my hair too. I don't want my hair to ignite here. Kind of like what happened to Michael Jackson. This is already at uh, this is already at 121 degrees Fahrenheit. Of course it's probably cooling down to heaven and air, but the water itself, it's actually hard for me to hold this probe in here because the top of my arm is roasting. Let me see if I can do this differently. Let me get my glove here. At some point this hair has got to go. Okay, here we go. What I got here is a heavy duty welding glove, folks. Something you may want to consider if you do this experiment. Nice heavy duty welding glove. Again, this heat is striking my forearm. So it's hard for me to even get this probe in position. Wow, this thing is climbing. It's 137, 138, 139, 140 Fahrenheit. Start to see some smoke here. Hopefully, it's not my hair and my arm here singeing. Let's see here, right at 100 and, uh, 148 degrees, 152 degrees. So, this is just climbing rapidly here, quite rapidly. See, my glove is starting to smolder here. Currently, we're at uh, wow, 153. I got to get my arm out of here, though, folks. 
That's it. We'll get back with you in a couple minutes. Okay, guys. Uh, what you're looking at here, it's only been about, what did, what did you say our time is roughly? Five minutes. About five minutes. If you look carefully here, this water is already boiling. If you look at the side there, more toward the side there, you'll see that water is already boiling. This black kettle actually is proving to be much more effective in heating this water. Okay, guys. So, uh, it's been now about six minutes and uh, this water is actually boiling violently in here. So we've reached our boiling temperature. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to run some calculations and get back with you. Because we know that we had, uh, we, we know we put 500 milliliters of water in here. We know the specific heat of water. We know how much time it took. So we'll be able to compute the number of joules per second that went into this pot and get some kind of output rating on this, on this disc. Remember, that's not really efficient because we're losing a lot of the energy in this ball. But at least we've proved our point where we're able to boil water very successfully here. That's it now. Over and out. People are starting to ridicule us in the background. We need to get out of here and move on. Bye, folks. Okay, guys. Uh, we did our test. We, uh, we boiled water. It took us about uh, roughly eight minutes for about 500 milliliters of water. So what I'm going to do now is just uh, do a little calculation for you guys to see just what kind of uh, wattage we got out of this mirror. So we're going to start with first amount of energy we put into water Q, heat transfer, is equal to the mass of the water times the specific heat of the water times the temperature change. Mass of the water, we had uh, 500 milliliters of water, that's about 500 grams. Specific heat for water is about 4.18, 4.18 joules per gram. C. We need a change in temperature. Change in temperature that went from about uh, final temperature was 100 degrees C. And that's boiling. So it'd be 100 minus, and it started at. Uh, it came out of the tap at about 20 degrees C. So 20. So this is degrees C here. So we got basically 500 times 4.18 times 80. And if somebody out there can give me that uh, calculation, please. 167,200. 167,200. So we ended up with. Uh, Amount of uh, energy in joules, 167,200 joules went into this system here. Now we're trying to do a calculation for uh, the amount of power we produce. Power is the rate at which you <coughs> do work, essentially. So we have power is equal to <coughs> the amount of work we did, well, the amount of time it took us to do that, the amount of work we did, that was uh, the number of joules we put into the system, so that'd be 167,200 joules. We gotta divide that by the amount of time. Now this system ran for, say, uh, about uh, maybe eight minutes. So eight minutes, and we gotta do a conversion here, 60 seconds per minute. So basically 167,200 divided by 480 seconds. What's that number, please? Comes out to 348.33. So 348, 348.3 Repeating. watts. Well, that's watts, which is pretty good. Considering we probably lost a large portion. Remember that uh, we were only capturing energy in a small, small portion at that, the surface area of that pot. And that ball, probably the diameter and surface area of that ball was probably, who knows, maybe four or five times that. So I'm guessing this mirror probably putting out on an order of a one kilowatt of energy. It's just a guess. I'm probably only getting a fourth of that energy. Don't forget folks, we're also losing energy as that thing is sitting there in the air and that pot is cooling. So that's a, that's a pretty good mirror. And I was going to show you another project that we're going to be working on shortly here. It's another cooker. And what we're going to do is uh, what we did here, we scrolled out two parabolas and we've got a trough. And what we're going to do is take a piece of uh, plastic, clear plastic, and we're going to slip this in here in behind and along the path of that parabola. We'll do this later, but basically what we're going to be doing is slipping this piece of plastic in here. And when we get this thing finished, we'll show you. But we're going to push this in here to, to form the shape of the parabola in behind that trough there. So that's it for now. This is Dr. Ozzy Oz, over and out. Bye, folks.